Welcome, Starving Electrician Channel, or the Taco Eating Channel, but not just yet. Right now, we're going to uh, explore the world of knuckleheads. We've got a few of these videos with knuckleheads, but uh, like this one here. Just why? Why? Uh, you know, I know you wanted that fan. If you look up there, you could see a little raceway up there for wire to feed that fan. So it's not like the box was there before, but that beam or whatever you want that column was there before so they notched it out so they can have a ceiling fan you know sometimes you want a ceiling fan uh this one here i just i'm uh let me use a big word perplexed i mean want to just cut the blades instead of you know maybe that's a structural column yeah i don't know but then again you see that track lighting behind there so i'm sure it's not the taj mahal but then again i've never been to the taj mahal all right let's move on to the next knucklehead Knucklehead number two. But, uh, you know, when you really want a light, I mean, you, you need a light. It looks like he tapped on to a 500 and a 250. It's blue, so I don't, you know, I would imagine it's a neutral. I don't know. I'm not even concerning myself with phasing tape at this point. But, uh, yeah, he really needed that light, you know. And it's at a junction box. So, man, uh, this cat either has, you know, nuts of steel or uh no brains no headaches so yeah i'm gonna say this one qualifies for knucklehead for sure on to the next okay now come on how hard is it to stick a plug on these wires here i mean you went through the effort of you know bending each uh, looks like number 14 put them through the little holes in the extension cord and even grounded the damn thing uh, but couldn't find a plug anywhere. I mean, yeah. <laughs> Is this a knucklehead or lazy? I mean, I'm lazy. That's why I'm so fast at everything that I do. I just find the easiest way to get it done just so I can get it done and get out of there. Crack open a cool one. Crack open some tacos. But this cat here, I don't know, looks like, I, look look at, now I think I found it out. Look, look at the drywall back there. So there. About to do some taping and mudding. Hmm. I think I know who did this. <laughs> but anyways, yeah, this is one of those things when the uh, homeowner says, "I want one of those plugs that you know go on the countertop, or you know they you can plug your uh, garbage uh, disposal into." You know, one of those newfangled ones. Well, this is newfangled, all right. You know, and the thing that gets me is it doesn't even match. That is obviously bright white, that sink, and they put an almond or ivory in there. Have a little bit of class. I'm not even talking about being GFI protected, but come on, at least match. <sighs> i got to give a big shake of my head on this one. You can't really bitch too much about this one. You do have a sticker, warning electrical hazard. So somebody took the time to go out and somewhere and get that sticker. I mean, they didn't take the time to do anything else, but look at the wires twisted together. Okay, looks good. They got the wire nuts with the set screws in them. All right, great. Uh, well, they got tape, that red wire on there, or the red tape on there. So it's taped off. It has a sticker. I mean, it's, it's by the sink, but uh, warning, don't touch this while watching, uh, washing your hands. Or your feet, or whatever you're going to be doing in this bathroom, because it doesn't look like the nicest of places. That's a, that's some nice wire mold there, and see all the holes where everything else used to be. That was probably the hand dryer. That's what that was. I bet you. I bet you anything. Ah, nice place. Oh, well, I've probably been there, but uh, <laughs> now this just looks crazy. I mean, it could have happened in the in the meter can. I mean, if I were to venture to guess, I'd say so. Uh, the wires look a little bit melted back on the uh, the line side. Uh, who's to say? But uh, if a fire got that hot and uh, scorched the uh, the inside of the meter like that one, I'd say that the house or whatever it is pretty much burnt to the ground. That's crazy looking. Okay, I just want you to take a good look at this one. All right. I don't know what that bigger wire is. 
And uh, me being a colorblind electrician, I'm going to say pink, red, I don't know. <laughs> Believe it or not, yes, I am colorblind. But um, they've got all, look at all those wires twisted together. So that's all one circuit. All of it. Um, you know, how do you even get a wire net on that? I, I've seen this so many times. I, never mind the connectors. Just somebody slopping it together. It's crazy. And I could see that that's in an attic. So Uncle Johnny came over and they said, hey, we'll buy you some beer. And then uh, old Uncle Johnny started on the beer before he got in there. I did electrical. You know, back, uh, you know, in Vietnam, we used to put together some stuff over there. And, uh, oh, yeah, I can handle it. You know, then I bet he fell through the roof, too. So, or the ceiling. <laughs> You'd have to pop up through the roof. But, I mean, that is just crazy looking. That's just somebody just slopping it in. And tied that together because there's no wire nuts that can fit on those wires. Look at how janky that is. I bet it. Oh, I can see the black tape. See, this is called evidence. See the electrical tape? So they just taped those together. <sighs> That's a nice little code violation you got there, Uncle Johnny. Now, answer me this. Are the jumper cables powering the panel? Or is the panel powering the jumper cables? Well... <sighs> Looks like it's a used to be a meter can. They pulled it out because they got tired of them rigging it to get free electricity. That's what I would say. And so that looks like the line side, but who's to say? There's jumper cables. Um, it's 240 volt. I don't see a neutral though. So I don't know what they're doing for that. You know what, what they're doing? Uh, probably using the, the ground as a neutral. Right, since we're not jumping it over from the source, and since the grounds are tied in with the neutrals at the service end of it, so now all those grounds are energized or what have you when you have a load on there. And uh, yeah, the ground rod and you know the fence or whatever else it's touching, you know. But uh, resourceful man, you could do this, or I don't know, maybe pay your bills or something, or I, I don't know. Or, Tap some more other wires on there. and But the other thing that gets me, too, it's on the outside of the can. How are you going to shut the can now? You, you're trying to steal and you can't shut the can. They drive by, they're going to see it, man. Maybe you got to be slick. Maybe, uh, you know, put a curtain around it so you see, no, see you can't see what's going on behind that magic curtain. Like uh, the old Wizard of Oz back there. But, uh, yeah. And you know what else? Some of those breaker brands aren't matching either. Oh. <sighs> the nerve look at the doubled up wires on uh, some of the breakers too so i bet half the service went out and they just uh move breakers around uh, to get their circuits working believe it or not i've seen this too isn't that crazy 30 something years in the trade and uh you see this yeah it's insane what people take chances on in uh, their house and their livelihood their you know all their stuff, their kids sleeping, and, you know, even if you don't have kids, your wife, you know, or maybe you like it that way, I'm just saying, not me, but anyhow, thanks for watching, everybody, I appreciate it, I like going over this knucklehead stuff, you know, I can't make a video of it because I don't see it every day, but I can show you images and we can talk about it.